Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by students and football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, a couple weeks ago you closed out the season. Uh, you're up in Susquehanna for the uh, Max Centennial Bowl. Um, you know, pretty defensive battle, um, kind of both ways, and they just were able to make a couple plays right at the end. Uh, but overall, pretty close battle, like I said, both ways. Yeah, it was a good football game. Yeah. Um, it was exciting. You know, if you like touchdowns and scoring, it probably wasn't your cup of tea. It yeah. was definitely a defensive battle, and, and ultimately, I th- we, you know, it came down to turning the ball over. You know, yeah. we, we turned the ball over five times, and, you know, whenever you, you have turnovers like that, you're going to struggle, and, and you're going to put yourself behind a little bit. And, um you know, unfortunately for us, you know, we fell to a pretty good football team and, um, you know, but it was a good environment for the kids, good experience. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have an opportunity again next year to play in the postseason. Yeah, obviously, you know, fifth straight year in the postseason, obviously those kids, you know, getting that extra game, I know just the extra week of practice and everything else is huge as you continue to try to build the program and get to where you want to go. Absolutely. You know, I think as you look at football in general, you have such a limited time to actually practice your sport. I mean, we have the non-traditional, but it's unpadded. Um, you know, whenever you have the opportunity to get out in pads and actually practice the game that you play, the, the value of that is immense. And, you know, graduating a senior class that, you know, had an opportunity to play in 44 games, you yeah. know, that's another month of practice over the course of their career. So for us, that's, that's very, very key and something that, um, you know, we hope to continue. And you look, I think that's a lot of the reason why you see, you know, in the NCAAs, a lot of the same four to eight teams go deep because they have that practice and they have all those extra reps. Absolutely. You, you look at teams that are, you know, perennial, you know, powers that are in, you know, playing two, three, four, five games extra a year. You know, you're talking about in the course of two seasons, another 10 games. Yeah. You know, that experience is certainly significant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just take a kind of look back at the season as a whole. Obviously, eight and three overall. Uh, like I said, fifth straight postseason appearance. Um, kind of a little wrinkle in the middle. You kind of had to switch up the offense a little bit because of uh, you know a couple of injuries and things like that. But um, just overall, you know, you have to consider a pretty good season. All things considered, like I said, with the change and some personnel, losing some key guys. Sure. You, you know, I think uh, you, you know as you as you look back, you get over the the loss in, in the bowl game, obviously, and. You know, everybody's upset about that, and it, it takes a little while to kind of yeah. start to, to sink in, you know, what we were able to accomplish, in fact, losing, you know, two of the most important people to our offense. Um, you know, I'm very proud of the guys. You know, we had an opportunity. We won five games in a row to close out the season, um, which is quite remarkable. Yeah. You know, winning football games is hard, right. and, you know, for our guys to, to rally and, you know, kind of come back from really the – the worst three minutes of the season if you go back, you know, losing Pat and then losing Dan just a couple minutes later. Um, to be at a rally from that, you know, was was exciting to watch. And I think the work that we put in in the offseason last, you know, starting last February, um, you know, in spring practice and the things we've done in the weight room and um, really helped us, you know, battle that that adversity and, and put ourselves back in a postseason situation. Yeah, and then obviously, like you said, you lose you know a great senior class, you know, well regarded. But obviously, you have a lot of guys coming back. And how do you build off this season as you go into you know the spring and next year? Well, that's the challenge for for the the, the, the current leadership. You know, the, the guys that are rising seniors is, you know, how can we replicate what we did next year? Um, you know, and even take the next step. And and literally, we were off the bus for about ten minutes, and I had the leadership guys in the conference room downstairs. Um, and we, you know, we were already talking about moving forward into 2019. So, um, for us, you know, that challenge has already started. It, it's the second we walked off the field in Susquehanna, we were on the clock for 2019. So that's kind of our, our challenge to, to to players and our challenge as a staff. You know, how how do we get back there, but take the next steps? Um, and again, for us, it's just a, it's hard work. It, you know, it's, it's it's coming to work every day. It's the guys doing their part in the weight room in the off season, us doing our job in recruiting. Um, you know, as we look at, at spring football, it's, it's it's making those fifteen practices as productive as we can as we can be, and then moving into the summer program, and then obviously preseason. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, congrats on a good season, and uh, thanks as always for your time and for your time all season this year. Greg, I appreciate it. I want to personally thank you. You know, you and and, and your staff, Sam Murray. Uh, Joe Wamba, you guys did an awesome job all year. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the, the support and uh, looking forward to a great 2019. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. Well, for Ed Hoddle, this is Greg Rice. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.